How's it going to YouTube? So Android here, and today we're going to be taking a look on how to get an iOS theme for your Android. So what we have here is called Sphere Launcher. Now Sphere Launcher, it will replace your default launcher that comes with the phone. Uh, it is free, but there's also a paid version with more features. And uh, I'll put the link in the description uh, for where to download it. But anyways, let's get right into it, guys. Most of the icons on here are not themed. As all these icons over here are not themed, and only these icons are themed here. You have your phone, your contacts, browser, messaging, and some of your default apps that come with the phone. Uh, but some some icons that you download straight from like Play Store or something do not come theme. Now we're gonna go into the Esprit Launcher Hub. Now this hub is pretty much the themer for the whole launcher. You have your notifications here, your themes, plugins. The gallery preferences and about the about the app. So let's go to notification real quick. It just shows a whole bunch of things that come out for SP Launcher, whether it being locked screens or themes. Next, we're gonna go to the theme section, and here you can see that what we have running is the default theme that comes. But if you click here on the online, uh, it's gonna pull up your default browser, and you can see all these themes that um, you can download. Next, what we're gonna check out is plugins for Launcher. So once we click on it. As you can see, I'm not running any plugins right now, but if you click here on more online plugins, it also is going to take us again to our default browser, and here we can explore some of the plugins that it offers, such as Esprit Launcher Control Center, the lock screen, notifications, and other good, good stuff. Next up, we have Online Gallery. Now, Online Gallery is just pretty much pictures that you set as wallpapers, nothing too special. Now here's the meat and bone of the app, the preferences. We can also access the uh, settings for the app by pressing the menu button and hitting preferences right here. So what we have here is search settings. And pretty much you're defaulted to one search. So because uh, this is the free version, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me a pop-up right here saying invalid license. I'm going to hit cancel. Next we have the widgets page. And in this case, uh, you can have a single the single page, single deck, or double deck. And if I hit any one of these, it's going to tell me I can't also because I don't have the pro version. So here we can just change the icon size, the number of rows, columns, font size, and tile color. So next we have shortcuts, browser shortcuts, and widgets on taskbars. So we're going to take a look at widgets on taskbars right here. Uh, I'm going to have that checked off for right now and I'll show you what, what that is. And uh, remove ad box and advanced settings. Alright, so back on the home screen here, we can see that SPR Launcher has other features. If you go ahead and click on the home screen and hit down, you can see here the um, a search bar pops up, comes up here, and you can just type in whatever uh, contact. So uh, let's see here, let me see something. So I can type in I can type in different things, and it pops up different people, or just on the web page, or something like that. If you go ahead and tap and push like this, you can see that we have a little shortcuts here to your, or your auto lock, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, your bright screen brightness here. Uh, also, on that same page here, you can have your recent apps, kind of like a shortcut. So this this little thing right here is where you can replace your widget. Unfortunately, you can only have four by one widgets or five by one widgets down here. Another cool feature by SP Hub is that you can have hidden apps. As you can see here, I'm going to open it up and I can set a password in my preferences which is going to show some hidden apps right here. These apps aren't found on the screen and the way you hide them is just long press on an icon as you can see all over jiggle just like the iOS. I don't know if you can see that properly. And all I'm going to do is just click on item. So let me see, let me go ahead and click this. And I have an option here to rename, hide, lock, design icon and add a shortcut. So if I hit, go ahead and hit hide, it's going to hide that icon for me. And the, way, and the way I access that icon again is by going to a hidden page, and there it is. So as you guys know, I like customizing my phone, and one thing I do like about SPL Launcher is that I can customize all these icons here. All these icons here, I can customize myself. The way you do that is just long press on the icon, Go ahead and click on it, put design icon, and then here we have a little, here we have a little thing showing the default icon 
And what do you want to change it to? Be to hit background, replace icon, the scale, rounded corners, 3D enhancement, the crystal mask, and uh, the dynamic icon. So this is a dynamic icon they were talking about. As you can see, the clock widget is actually moving, showing the correct time, and the calendar widget is also showing the correct date and day. So what we're gonna do is hit replace icon. And then we're gonna choose our system gallery on icons that I already have. And we're gonna click on one of my icon sets that I have, and we're just gonna put whatever right now. So we're gonna hit this one right here. As you can see, it changes it for you. As you can see, maps icon is now that icon that I wanted it to be. Another feature the SPR launcher has is folders. So pretty much to make folders the same as iOS, you will go ahead and long click on it, you hold it, and you put it over another fold another icon. And it's gonna create a folder right here. Here's another thing that SPR launcher has push notifications. So whenever you have a missed text or missed call, it's gonna give you a little number box up there. All right guys, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, leave comments and subscribe.